take the holiday. And I'm going to assume probably kind of cheap. Yes, because you know <laughs> I'm cheap. And also, you know, I'm not good at baking, but crafting, that's my thing. And Greg was saying even you can do these, right? I can do these. These are simple. Even the kids can do these, and they love to help with these. Okay. And well, these are these are painted uh, Halloween luminaries, Okay. and they're simple to do. All you need are glass jars. You can use a canning jar. You can get 12 of these for $9.99. You can get them at Albertsons. Uh, your other items here you need are acrylic paint, paint brushes, uh, some felt pens. And you can also you can get this stuff at a craft store, but these right. guys, a set of 12, awesome for if you're going to have like a, a party and you can get these and then have the kids do them. But also if you have like an empty mayonnaise jar, it's getting close to being at the end, you can wash them out and then use these. But there is a trick for when you're painting these, right? What's the trick? The trick is don't put it on too thick. Once you put the paint in the container, not too thick because you're going to put a tea light in here and you want the light to shine through. Okay, let's make one of these babies. I'm going to make a... Um, well, we'll just use these, these ones that are already these, painted. Yeah, these I'll are make, dry. I'll make a um, ghost, and okay. you do the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, we'll see how we do. All right, let's hopefully we do good. <laughs> these are fun, Camby. I and know, easy. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I was just thinking I can't wait to do this. Stop. Usually the kids are better at this than I am. So. <laughs> Greg he says the kids are better up, at him. He can't mess Look how quick it is. Yeah. Ta-da! Done. Ooh, awesome. Okay. That is you want to cool, light actually. these? You want to light these so you can see what they look like? Yeah. You can light one I'm going to let you deal with the flame because no, I don't okay. want to have, like I don't want to burn the place don't down. Like hey, you guys, also, if you're going to, yeah, I'm not allowed. If you guys want to put these outside, then you need, um, this is like a clear gloss that you put on them. So you'll want to do that so then you can leave them outside. But how cool would this to go, to be going uh, trick or treating and then see these out? kind of lining up the doorstep. What yeah. do you guys think? I would imagine, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what it would really look like in the dark, you know, as, as the trick-or-treaters come in, but I would imagine it looks even cooler when, when there aren't any lights around. Yeah, just from right here, I can kind of see how it shines through yeah. the, uh, yeah. the orange. Kinda so pretty tell, neat, right? And, and really cheap to do. You know, if you don't have the jars at home and you have to buy them, you still get 12 of them for 10 bucks. That's less than a buck a piece, and the kids can uh, have at it. I'm thinking like Keep line, them like a walkway up to your house, yeah. like lining the yeah, walkway. Yeah, lining the walkway. That's yeah, so cool. Right? I love that idea. Okay, so that's, about so as that's what we're going to be I doing know. all morning long um, at Albertsons. Hey, also, we found a John lookalike this morning. I can't see it. Picture's too small. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Isn't right. that cute? Yeah. Stars With that in my crazy eyes. hair? We yeah. were talking about your crazy hair yesterday. Yeah. We were? I don't remember talking yeah. about that. I never realized but, uh, my hair was that crazy. Yeah, remember the curl? You don't remember? Oh, the Superman curl, curl, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It yeah. happens. All right, Camby, thank you very much. Good morning, Camby. Yeah, per my Grammy, I took out cheap. But look, we know the truth. <laughs> Again, I think okay. you should go with cost efficient. Okay, cost efficient. Whatever it is, we're saving money this morning and still having fun. Okay, check this out. Finger foods, literally. That's what we're going to show you how to make right now. And it is so easy that even myself and Greg can do it. That is the sign that you know that the kids can be able to do this. So what are the ingredients that people need to be able to make these? Uh, it's real simple. For the uh, cheesy fingers, all you need is string cheese, a bell pepper, and some uh, cream cheese. Okay, the cream cheese you use to make the bell pepper stick. To make the bell pepper stick on okay. the fingers, right. And for these, a red or green large apple, doesn't matter your choice. You're going to cut a section out of it and then another section inside, and you use uh, sliced almonds for the teeth. Okay, so let's make some of these. We already okay. have the this uh, bell pepper ready so right. let me cut this up to make the uh the fingernails here all right i'll cut this in half okay i'm just gonna do two of these and half oh my um skills are not so good and all you do is cut a piece out here for the fingernail okay a little piece for the knuckles so you can see you've got knuckles in there somehow like that another one there okay it's looking Oops. good Oops, get back here. <laughs> and then we got to open this. Open the cream cheese. And all you do is take a dab of cream cheese, put it right on the end there, and go ahead and stick your fingernail on there. Yeah, to stick the fingernail on, yeah, Camby. That's simple. Sounds appetizing. Ta-da! Look at Easy. that. Very good. How's it taste? Then you eat it. And healthy. Yeah, and it's healthy. That's, and it's true. Healthy. that's true. Is it Whoa, tasty? I, 
Oh my gosh, stop the presses. I ate something healthy this morning. <laughs> you guys, you know they open at 6 a.m. Then I'm gonna get a donut, okay? That's the real truth. <laughs> All right, so try these out. I'm anxious to see if people try these for their Halloween party. Very mm, cool. This cream cheese is really good. All right, Camby Brown, thank you so much. Time crafty. Hey, good morning, Camby. Yeah, we're not talking about just leaving the cobwebs at your house, John. That hey, is that's such a cheap. typical bachelor. Oh, spiders too. There's spiders around. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Probably while you're single. Greg, do you have any spider webs or spiders at your house? No, I sure don't. Okay, <laughs> see? And Greg's been married. Yeah, but for this house isn't spooky years, for so. Halloween, is it? No, because he's learning how to make all these kinds of things. Look at this. Boo! This is so easy, John, you can even do this. Because if Greg and I can do it, we know it's easy. So how exactly do we do this? We have the black and the white black and the bags white. here, right? Okay. Right. And you're going to just cut the white bag. You just cut a little bit out of the bottom. Okay. To make it a little spooky. Hey, little why spooky. Greg is doing that, I have to tell you, at all Albertsons on Saturday, they are doing a free pumpkin decorated. So you bring your pumpkin, you can decorate it. Also, they're going to have trick-or-treating, and you get a free uh, bag as long as your kid comes dressed up in costume. So if you want to come out and do that, it's at all Albertsons happening this Saturday and it starts at 11 a.m. and ends at 4. So your kids get a chance to wear that costume as much as possible. I know they've probably been dying to wear it. So now once we have the ends once done, have the ends done, okay, all you're going to do is fold it a little bit and cut the eyes out. And that might be a little harder for the younger kids to do, but a bit parents harder. can help. You can make them as big as you, you want. You can cut big eyes, small eyes. You can trim them however you want. You can put a nose on it. You can put a mouth on it if you want. And all you do is you open that bag up. And then you fill this with the uh, with the fill treats, this right? With the treats. Put the with the Pez. Do you guys yeah. like Pez? I love these Drop things. Those in there. Some put eyeballs. That. little goodie bag in case you're having goodie a birthday bag. or not a birthday party a Halloween party or you might be having a birthday party if it's in October maybe that. oh this is the difficult this is part. the difficult part there you go you got it there it is just like that done -a! that easy now tell us how cool we are go cool yeah yeah kind of <laughs> kind of cool <laughs> no, it those look, it does look cool. Though. It does those look actually cool. would be a lot of fun if you have kids. Yeah, you know, to sit for down sure. And yeah, exactly. They're easy. They're quick. They're not much of a mess. Totally. Right. I can see where that would work. I can. Yeah, and considering there's only a few of us on the morning show who do have kids, <laughs> that's this is um, for them. But hopefully, some of our viewers, as I'm sure most of them do. Two, two of us in the morning show. Well, not us. Two people. All. Never okay. mind. It's okay. totally inconsequential. Okay. Can be. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, dear. Hey, be it let the cobwebs form or not. Yeah, that's right. We have a volunteer this morning who's going to show us just how easy it is to do this. So <laughs> here we go. We're going to take our donut. This is what it's going to turn out like. Okay. Oh, donuts how awesome all of is a that? sudden, huh? You were eating. Yeah. You were eating healthy stuff before. I know. We're, we skipped the healthy stuff. All right. Okay. So what we need is a donut. And then what do we have inside the pot inside here? Uh, we have white chocolate chips melted with each uh, bag, you take one tablespoon of vegetable oil, okay. you melt it, and then you dip your donut hole. Ooh, okay, sounds let's see good. if we can that do this. Are you amazing. ready, girlfriend? Get your donut hole. Get, make sure you get the big one. Okay, right. then we got to swirl it in here. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, then once it's coated, then Looking you're going to let it. Looking promising. Does that look good? Then you kind of let it good. dry by putting it. it there you go. There and we go. Up. And you put this little. Put that in there for the eyeball. Here we go. And then you use this red icing and you can make it into the eyeball. What do you guys think? How cool is this? That is awesome. You got a couple dry ones there. Okay. I'm, I'm trying. I think this is my oh, favorite well. thing you've made so far this morning, Camby. Really? Isn't this awesome? All right, Camby, they're telling us we have to go. So uh, yep, enjoy that. And yeah, I'm sure you're yeah, going to have one. Enjoy that. Breakfast. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Thanks, Camby.